So in life, we have what is known as the Pareto Principle, which was developed by Vilfredo Pareto in Italy when he recognized that 80% of his peas were being produced by 20% of his pea pods, which is why this happens to also be known as the 80-20 rule. Now, this can be fundamentally life-changing when you recognize that 80% of your outcomes are going to be a byproduct of 20% of your actions, whether you're talking creatively, uh, organizing your business strategies, your investing strategies, or just you know your choices in life in general. 80% of your results are going to be a byproduct of 20% of your actions. And the trickiest part can be just figuring out which 20% you're going to focus on. So for example, if you're starting a blog or doing YouTube series, uh, distinguishing what your 20% audience is that's actually engaged in watching the videos and then learning how to market to those individuals can determine whether or not you're going to actually see growth because you want to invest in the things that are working. So maybe you're also looking to invest in stocks or cryptos, but you're spending too much time just looking at the history of investing or just looking up inspirational quotes or how to read the financials and things that you know are relevant, but you're not actually learning charting and technical analysis, that, so you don't know when to buy in and when to sell, then you just buy in a downtrend instead of an uptrend or on breakouts. And when you learn which portions to spend your time on, it can just fundamentally change the way that you're going to look at your life and how you're going to invest your time and which habits to focus on. So that's just a little bit of something to think about, you know, if similar to your diet and your health, you know, 80% of the results may be a byproduct of the 20% of focusing on your diet and avoiding sugar and actually figuring out what your body responds well to. So this principle can be applied across realms, across various fields of work. It's just figuring out how to do it. <laughs> Maybe even in the way that you engage in your cordial conversations, the verbiage you choose, you know. Maybe 80% of the success of your conversations is a byproduct of not just the words you choose, but the conversational topics. So, you know, find different ways to apply this information figure out what might work because if you're not particularly satisfied with the way that your life is it's probably indicative that the 20 percent of the actions that will have you grow and find satisfaction in your day-to-day -day life is not being invested in or nourished so figure out the things that you really like doing and the things that you really want to learn or the things that may actually transform the way you're living your life and invest your time in that because why spread yourself thin when this rule basically applies across all fields, even your friends? You know, Twenty percent of your friends will probably make up the majority of your best friendship. So it's relevant. It's worth noting. If the peas, if it's relevant for the peas, it's relevant for us. Always know that. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Let me know if uh, this rule somehow applies to you. Always curious to learn more. Toodles.